Hey everyone, we have a very exciting announcement today. We are getting our new puppy, Mr. Grizzly, tomorrow. He's on his way from Indiana. He's doing really well. We keep getting updates throughout the day and he's taking the trip pretty easily. So we will be introducing you to him when he gets home tomorrow. And in the meantime, I'm going to get his crate out and get it all set up to welcome him home. It's the wall of pet carriers. Okay, we'll let the kennel dry out here in the, the air. It's kind of windy. And then I'll spray it down with some kennel care, which kills all of the germs and wipe it out and it'll be ready to set up. Thanks, love. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. Elijah's the muscles to the operation. I, uh, yeah, just by the steps. Perfect. And then I'll wipe this out. This is the kennel care. You can buy it online and you just dilute it. And it kills parvo. It kills everything. So we've never had parvo, but I um, try to prevent it. And especially being in Texas, there are a ton of flies. That's primarily how it's transmitted. So um, if I can keep the fly population down and keep food picked up, then, and obviously our pets immunized, then we are doing the best we can to prevent it. Typically the way parvo is transferred is uh, flies will land on feces. And even when a, when a dog is immunized, they can still shed the virus. So. Anyway, flies land on the feces and then they go and they fly and they land on dog food and the dog ingests it and that's typically how they end up getting parvo. And then I'm just gonna mist the kennel and it'll be nice and clean. Grizzly won't be here for about six hours, so that'll be enough time to dry and air out a little bit more. And I'm sure I'll be cleaning it quite a bit until he's potty trained, so we'll see how that goes. What I like to do to try and prevent parvo is basically be really on top of picking up dog poop. So when we have a litter, you just have to be super clean and constantly pick up their dog poop. And then also after feeding time, you need to pick up food don't ever leave food out for flies to land on. So just really keeping everything tidy when you have a litter is super important. It is going to be a little bit more challenging here, like I said, because there's way more flies than we had in Idaho. It's like a constant battle. It's the middle of November and a lot of the flies died after that cold snap, but now they're back. We're still battling them. So yes, the joys of animal husbandry. <laughs> What a good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, he's a beast. He's a beast. What do you think is our new puppy? Beast. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Hey, 
Chris. Hey, bud. Come here, Chrissy. I'm sure you can tell he's a little bit on the skinny side. I think, <laughs> hey buddy, come here. I think it's because um, he's only been getting fed three cups a day. I picked up this squirrel for him in honor of Brutus, the male that we lost. Brutus, <laughs> Brutus was a great squirrel hunter, ground squirrel hunter, in fact. Brutus and Gracie love to hunt ground squirrels, so we thought that that would be the perfect toy for him. And he likes it. Uncle Grace. 